Oh, that's fast. Okay. Well, I have to make a new scene. No, I'm just going to use the corruption scene. We're going to make it work with this one. <laughs> uh, thanks, McAfee. Not McAfee, Malware Bites. <laughs> That's not too loud. Let me know if it is. Uh, let's get this to capture. The cooking I am theme? What's the cooking I am? Um, but this has Omnipo vibes, this game. Oh, the cooking's in. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Sorry, I'm staring at these video settings. Do you have... Okay, I can capture it with the window capture, so we're gonna capture it with the game capture. Game. There it is. Cool. And I gotta move it below me. Give me just a sec on that. screen back on. Hey, look at that. Awesome. I don't like that if I alt tab it hides my mouse. Um, yeah, Cooking Sim does have Home Depot vibes. Sorry, I was taking a sec to do all this. Let's go! New game. Um, oh yeah, so this is all the DLC stuff. Oh, it's a bummer that puts that up at the top. Oh, there's like two layouts too. Um, I guess the tutorial? Sorry if you've seen this before and you already know what the tutorial is, but I've never played it before. <laughs> we'll probably just at some point just do sandbox, but let's start off with. We'll do this. Alright, welcome to Cooking Simulator. As you already noticed, the restaurant you're now employed in does not have the greatest rating. We have a one star rating, it's the only place I can get hired at with my credentials of a bachelor's. Uh, your task is to restore it to its former glory and reach the highest level. We're not going to do that. We're going to, like, finish the story, learn how to do it, and then we're going to cook our own shit. Um, the last chef uh, left the kitchen covered in sticky notes. Maybe you'll find them of some use. <laughs> he just left sticky notes everywhere? That's weird. Why would you do that? Um, hi, I'm the new manager of this place. Since it's your first day... Oh, this reads fast. Um, before we start, three important things you need to know in case you get lost. Why would I have a press T to continue if it continues automatically? Uh, first of all, button bindings, hints displayed, bottom right corner, got it. Two, during this tutorial, you can be best test in the bottom left corner of your screen, that's here! Sticky notes are health code violation? Yeah, it's all that sticky goo and everything. Three, this tutorial will autosave between stages, if you get lost or stuck, you can always go back. Great, thank you for speaking so fast, can you speak slower, lady? Huh, looks like the last owner to leave this place in a sorry state, yeah, this thing's destroyed. Get on the phone, we need to call the professionals. Okay. Why didn't you do this before I started the new job? <laughs> Where's the phone? Oh, it's a green thing. Phone. What a mess we need to get the gas cook. What? Oh, my window just closed for it. Um, oh, I know what happened. Dun, 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 dun. Full screen. I'm gonna have to roll it full screen because otherwise, if I click on my other window by accident, it will minimize, which I don't want. So, we'll have to roll like that. But, it still captures alright. No missing corners? Yeah, no, we're alright. Sticky notes are a health code violation. <laughs> alright, go to the marked area. Yeah, hey, repair. I'm gonna walk over to it and be like, yeah, this thing is fucking destroyed. I have to choose a repair service. Um, we better hide someone fast while covering up the cooker. Select a company. Yeah, let's do... <laughs> the cheapest one. Let's do Handyman. Try to go bankrupt, yeah. One down, four to go. We still need to fix the ovens and the deep fryers. See how fast this is? Oh, it does say how fast it is. Oh, it takes longer. We'll use you guys. And what was the last thing? This is a nice kitchen, overall. Um, I don't... I've never been in a nice kitchen. <laughs> there we go. Good job, put the phone down. All right. <laughs> 
I've finished talking on the phone and be like, yeah, this is fucking broken, this is broken, we need people out here for this, and then I guess I just continue work after they've been, like, standing around banging it with a hammer for half an hour. <laughs> I can't believe they hired me with all that. Um, so wait a minute, this was left in disrepair, so I'm supposed to truck the sticky notes that are left around from the previous guy? I'm gonna miss all these. Um, I'm supposed to trust the sticky notes when he left this place in, like, disrepair. Uh, find the cardboard box of several one and press left click for my utensils. Got it. And left click. Utensils. Blender. Blender. Oh, bye. Good, I put the blender away. You can carry only one thing at a time. There you go. It'll be faster if you move the box over, over, and press E. Got it. But it's... here. Uh, is there a radio? I want music. Good. Now I need... Wow, I need a lot of stuff. Oh! Guess like multiple things? No. Uh... Gotta break out the sporks? Actually, yeah, fuck it. We don't need, like, all these different types of utensils. Just give them the spork, and not only just a regular spork, like... Work spoon. Give him the one with the knife on the side, too. Big pot. Oh, what? Oh, no, I don't want to pour a pot into another pot. Stick that there. Uh, I guess we're just buying all the utensils. Oop. I like how every time after I buy something, she's like, hey, you can use the, um, the menu to buy stuff if you'd like. Use the shop menu to buy stuff. No, yeah, I got it. Again, why did you hire me if you don't have a fully suited kitchen? Why does the cook have to do this? Uh, we gotta use your tools. Don't forget to grab recipes. Great. Recipe manager. Not owned. Buy a recipe. Can I get these free offline? Cool. Oh, there's tech support. That's me. Takes a laptop. Let's see, repairs, utensils, recipes, and ah, when we need spices, visit the shop. What this? My box that's now on the ground because I threw it. Can I throw stuff? Bro. Kinda. Of. Whoop. Spices. Salt. Yeah, the most important spice. We're, open, we're not going to need much for shopping. Got it. Oh, I need all these spices. Oh. Where'd that go? Ah. Horse radish. And fine. I think I got the general idea. Am I good enough? I don't think I need this whole story. There's so much to this. I want to salt something. See, I got this. I want to go get, like, meat. It's in the freezer. Perfect. Got salmon. <laughs> We're gonna... stick this over the stove top here. It's, uh, is this still being repaired? Yeah, we're golden. We got this. Uh, back to menu. We're gonna cook some food. We don't need to go through all that nonsense. Tutorial off. I'm curious what the modern layout is, but now we're doing this one. Let's go, let's cook some food. Let's cook some delicious, delicious meals. Stuff that would just make your mouth water. Uh, I'm guessing here. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, this is if you want to skip the preparation. What preparation should we do? Leave the fridge open, obviously. Uh, let's see. I'm curious how you use this blender. Precise tool handling. Precise tool handling in the kitchen is crucial. Hold down shift. It will open up new ways to manipulate an object. Oh, I see. So you can do that. Got it. Put that down. I want to learn how to use the blender, so I am going to ignore that and not do that yet. We're going to... 
I need a basket of some sort. I think it's tomato. Can I hold like a bunch of these? Yes. Lots of tomatoes. Take these. Oh. I need a pot. Can I buy a pot? <clears throat> That's what these are for. Oh. That down. I want a big pot. Yes. Oh, I have to like pour them in? Uh... No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mostly right. Okay, great. <laughs> now, how do we use this blender thing? Move down. Oh, perfect. Okay, got it. Can I pour like this? <laughs> Excellent. We just have <laughs> tomato paste all over the ground. I'll stick that down. Okay. Uh, here's all our spices. I think I got this. Fresh stuff. Is this sandbox? I don't actually know if this is sandbox. Like, I have everything already. Oh, look at all this stuff. We got a microwave, the most useful tool. That's the only way you can cook. Uh, everything else in here is just for show. Food processor. What is this? Coffee? Oh, it's a cutter. Fire extinguisher? Uh, I want to try out the cutter. Give me that. Toss this in there. And excellent. Oh, does this have like a little tray? Oh, it does. Okay, awesome. Oh, I'm never going to get used to these little rotates. There we go. Rotate it <laughs> all on the board. Okay, let's make something. Put this back in the processor. Oh, I need music again, too. Oh, if someone ordered a dish, every time a client orders something, you'll be notified at the top left. Oh, and I have time to make it. Great. Gotta love it. We're gonna make the worst dish possible. Big trout. So we need a trout. 200 grams of that. Then me that. Uh, <laughs> season it with black pepper. I don't imagine now I should season it. I think I should cook it first. I want to beef Wellington. <laughs> Alright, calm down. Calm down, music. Um, notice one important thing. It doesn't tell me how I should cook it. It does say baked, so I'm assuming... <laughs> I don't actually know how to bake it. Here, let's stick this. Put that on that. I guess, yeah, let's season it first. So let's go get some pepper. Can I get this? Yeah. Black pepper, thyme... Excuse me, I need this. Black pepper. Ah, thyme. Dried. God damn it, get up here. Oh, it's trying to stack it. Why? Okay, good. Uh, and dill dried. Get some dill. That. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. And let's season. <laughs> Beef Wellington gun. I wouldn't even know where to begin with that. Is about how much they wanted? Uh, oh yeah, like five grams of each. How much did I put on there? I put like, oh, three grams, okay. Five. Oh, six, that's fine. Uh, put that down. Five grams of this. Yeah, how much actually landed on the trail? That's like six. It's just a little, a little extra peppered. Okay, bake for 90 seconds. Got it. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> no, that's not on the floor. <laughs> Too much time? Can you imagine, like, the customers, like, you put it in, you put six grams of time on this. How dare you? Oh, I need a timer. Can I buy a timer? Utensils? I don't know how long 90 seconds is. Like, I can't have a uh, good... Is there a timer? Yes, there is. Okay, good. Bye. Uh... Minute and 30. Okay. Uh, go. 
Go. <laughs> Learning as you go is probably not the best way to do it. Did I see some with horseradish? No, I did deal in time. Oh, I need horseradish. What? There's so much seasoning on this thing. You're not even gonna taste the trout. Transfer onto a plate. Let's get a plate ready. It's a big trout. Do you not even cut it? Do you just leave it? You just leave it like that? Oh, I don't like fish. I never really eat fish. That looks disgusting. Uh, garnish with... Oh, I need lemon? Lemon. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna cop, chop it in here. I don't want to chop it with a knife. Hey, what's going on, Taco Time Bomb? Uh, what'd you feed those poor puppies in the Discord? I f <laughs> Corruption juice. <laughs> Not very good stuff, I'll tell you that. Um... Bone hurting juice. <laughs> they didn't have any bones, it was all gone. Uh, we need parsley. No, I don't need to get that ready. Cut lemon into quarters. Are these quarters? I'm gonna call those quarters. Just a mush, just... I just took this little blender, wherever that blender is, and just kinda... Don't make a sound. Okay, you're done. Oh god, hot plate! Okay, <laughs> for a second I thought that was actually gonna be... Like, spicy hot. Why would I not have, like, tongs? Oh, look at that presentation! Mwah! <laughs> Put that down. Uh, I need these guys. Do I not? Oh, I have to, like, rotate them on? Alright. Uh, just kinda... Look at that. Perfect. Put that down. Oh! Put that down. What else do I need? Horseradish. Is it five? Yeah. I've got three on there. Good. This is gonna be a perfect plate. I didn't mess up on a thing. Uh, parsley. Fresh. Six grams. How much is this? How much time do I have? Oh, I have a minute. It's two grams. Okay, I need two more of those. This is expensive parsley. Just came by before I headed off. Oh, I appreciate you stopping by. Well, hopefully you have a good night. Thanks for stopping by. We had uh, we had good corruptions on Nintendo Dogs, and then now we're just kind of relaxing, I guess. With please don't, please don't break. Okay, just gonna shimmy it to the window. But yeah, <laughs> you have a great night for sure. Um, good to see you streaming again. Hey, I appreciate it. I'm glad to be streaming again. Uh, picture? Uh, sure. Share on Twitter? No, I'm alright. There's your big trout. With two minutes to spare. For a minute and like 19. Four star chef. I got a- oh wait, four star rush. Serve a dish. It was delicious. Oh, we got perfect score. Baked trout. Tip number one. I got so many damn achievements for that. Why? Uh. Guess complaints? Any complaints? Nope. Perfect. Awesome. See, we're great chefs. I'll hang it on my wall. Achievement. So many things. Uh, oh, you want tomato soup? I can make such a good tomato soup. In fact... No, we are gonna go by the recipe. Because I didn't know you used chicken broth. <laughs> Alright. Uh, chicken broth, 700 milliliters. I want like a big pot. Where's my big pot? There it is. Is there anything in here? No. Put that down. Get some chicken broth. With chicken broth. Uh, open bottle. 700 milliliters. There's my little red. There it is. And 700. Cool. Uh, salt, 12 grams. Do I have salt? No, I don't. Salt. Feels like a lot of salt. 12 grams? God. I'm one that loves salting stuff. Like, I'll put excess salt on anything. Uh, but 12 grams seems like a ton. I guess it is a big soup. How much pepper? Uh, 12 grams. Okay. This 
Is there no salt in here? How much salt is in here? Oh god, I hope I didn't just put like 24 grams of salt in there. I think I did. That's... Uh, it said mixture. It didn't say there was anything in there. Cayenne. Six grams. I hope they like salty soup. Uh, tomato, 960 milligrams. How many grams is a tomato? 960, so... Five, like six of them. Oh, I should make extra just in case I spill it. <laughs> Good. We have blender. Pencils, blender. <laughs> salt, 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 salt. Trapped on there? No, it's just piles and piles of salt. <laughs> there we go. Blend it up. Okay. Why did I just put that in this one? Oh, now I gotta mix these, right? Onions boil. <laughs> I hope I don't mess this up. Uh. Look at that perfect pour. We are godly. Paste as red as your shirt. Not anymore, though. Now it looks like... What does this look like? Lemon soup? Ugh. Onions, 120 grams. Like, diced? Cut up? Blended? Onions. 120 grams, just one. Can I just stick it in there and then, like, blend it? <laughs> what a disgusting way to use an onion. I don't even know if that's peeled. Ugh. I hate it. Ugh. I don't like onions. Boil. Boil. On here. For 60 seconds. Wrong one. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Imagine you get a strawberry with the leaf. I'll be... I'll be honest, I, sometimes when I'm feeling lazy and I make a smoothie, I'll just throw the fucking strawberry in there. I'm like, I don't bother when I'm cutting, bother cutting it or dirtying it with a knife to cut it. Um, it's not like I taste the difference. It tastes like strawberry. Uh, add sour cream, 150 milliliters, and blend. Blend again. Sour cream. I need to buy that. This music's making me stressed. Pour the 300 milliliter into a deep plate. Serve hot. Deep plates. Okay, this is done. Hot plate. Blend. How do we blend this? Oh, okay. <laughs> Put you over there. Uh, are you saying that you never eat strawberries with uh, with the leaf on it? There, Sherlock? You've never had it? It's just like a leaf. I wouldn't imagine it tastes awful. I don't know what it tastes like, though. Uh, 150 milliliters of sour cream. <laughs> you all eat apples with or without the core. I've... All right, that's a fair point. Uh, 300 milliliters. I could imagine eating an apple with the core. So, all right, that's a fair argument for the soup or for the strawberry. How many? 300 milliliters. That's 270. Oh, that's too much. Okay, got it. And there you go. Enjoy! That does not look like a delicious tomato soup. That looks awful. <laughs> taste is just a little bit off. What did I mess up on the taste? Oh yeah, that's right. We put like fucking an extra 12 grams of salt on there. We poured salt on that thing. Apparently too much pepper. Otherwise, hey, that's good. Alright, we're done with the uh, the normal ones. We're going to make our own dish now. Do you eat burgers with her at the peel? Like the plastic peel it comes in? New order, uh, we're gonna make, we're gonna make this, but we're gonna make it our own way. Uh, start with your salmon, but, do I have a lot of money? I hope I have enough money for this. Start with your, 
Start with your salmon. It's okay if it falls on the ground. Oh god, Spagoolers, why would you send that? <laughs> god, you said it still in the McDonald's wrapper. Why? Oh, that's how you eat it with the peel. I got it now. Um, you shriveled someone's tongue with that salt? I probably did. I'd like a lot of salt, but not that much salt. All right, where's my trout? Take your trout. That's a good amount of trout. They only want, like, one, but we're gonna give them the trout surprise, where it's, like, seven trout. Oh. Go on. <laughs> nah, don't all you fight for it. <laughs> Why would they make me <laughs> do this? <laughs> Alright, one minute in. Let's get those other ones in there. Go on. Can I, uh... What, do you want the top on there? Huh? Why would it go in this direction? <laughs> it doesn't fit like that. <laughs> Borgor. <laughs> What's your deal? Come on. Get in there. Are these all trout? Are these different types? That's trout. Alright, we're gonna do it the other way. No, it won't let me. Bummer. Okay. Well, maybe because I didn't have one on me. Four? Ah! Oh, maybe I can't put it on when it's like that. I put it in there? Nope. Can you eat a slug? I'm sure you could. I wouldn't want to. Yes, there we go. Good. Okay. Get that. Get in there. Get in there. These fish are being mean. Alright, we're not cutting it that way. We are cutting it the old-fashioned way. that down. Where's my cutting board? Where's the train? No, I need a cutting board. Ah, there it is. What? <laughs> Bro, what is this impossible task? What? Eating the, uh, or no, trying to blend the fish? I want to blend the fish. I think I need cube chunks. Like, I don't think they'll go in, like, <laughs> I don't think they're gonna go in longwise. Like, I actually have to slice them up first. So, we're gonna do this. God damn it. Give me that. Oh, well, let me pick that up. Okay. Put this down. We're gonna give him a little choppy chop. It's like a dog entered a door with a stick too long. Yeah, it just can't quite fit. Uh, rotate around. Yeah. And then cut. Oh, yeah, look at that. Perfect. I, why is it? Okay. I was gonna say, why is it cutting in the same place? I'm not gonna try and make this look pretty for the reference. For anyone that's like, oh, he doesn't look like he's cutting it right. I know. I know I'm not cutting it right. I just want to roughly get some fish chunks to put in the mixer so I can blend them all together into a disgusting fish paste. <laughs> Yummy. Put these in here. That car knows what's up. That car is like, what the fuck is he doing? Go on. Get in there. Perfect. And mix. Love it. Okay. How much time are they uh, still waiting? They got three minutes. They got plenty of time. There's a fish tail up here. Get off that. Okay. We got our fish face. <laughs> head and all. <laughs> yeah, the head and all. Yeah, no, you gotta get all the good fish bits in there. That's where all the flavor comes from. Uh, okay, next up. We gotta salt it, obviously, because fish are from the sea, and if you take them out of the sea, you must return them into a sea-like state. So you gotta put at least 20 grams of salt in there. That's good. Uh, pepper too, because... Fish are peppery. Uh, good. And that should be a good amount for that. Okay, now time to get our base ready. Now we're gonna take some chicken broth. Give me that. Take some chicken broth. Pour that in. And... Good amount. And when you think about fish, what like... <laughs> fish are peppery. <laughs> what else do you think about when you have fish? Like, you think about lemon because it's usually served with lemon, so we're gonna take a couple lemons. Just a couple. Uh, you also think about probably some thyme, like you would put that next to a fish. Uh, you'd use it for garnish, not necessarily part of the fish, but that's fine. Um, and I like to think of potatoes every once in a while. Now if you take this mixture, and we bring it over here, and we take our little blender, where's our blender, there it is. Blend all this stuff up. Da -da -da -da. Move down, blend that stuff up. You need more time, not time. No, I'm good on time, right? I'm good on time. Uh, okay, so we got our base, we got our fish liquid. Now let's pour the fish liquid in there, make sure not to lose any of our fishy bits. Perfect. And now we're going to boil it. 
And how long do we boil it? You yeah, just you just put your finger in there and figure out when it feels warm. You're making a, f <laughs> a fishy lemonade, a potato fishy lemonade. Um, okay, that's cooking long. We're gonna let that finish. In the meantime, we're gonna put some more time in because we do need more time. You are right there, Charlock. We're just gonna let it kind of like sizzle in there, if you know what I mean. Delicious fish liquid. Yeah, let's throw some salmon in there for good measure. Okay. Uh, I think we're doing alright. How are we doing on cooking? Oh, they're cooking at separate rates, so we should probably, uh, do this while it's on the stove top. Make sure that's all one vat. Hurry up! <laughs> oh, don't worry, I'll hurry up. Let's get our, uh, bowl ready. Gotta make sure the, uh, customer is happy. I don't want this. Uh... Try to get it... Great. Uh, let's take our fish vat. Nope, not done yet. Almost there. Can I make this hotter? Here's a little trick in case you didn't know. If you turn on all your burners, you can have a surrounding heat and it'll heat up the side of the pot and you'll cook it a lot faster. Uh, there's a little pro tip for you in case you ever went to culinary school like I did. I did not go to culinary school, don't trust anything I'd say. Uh, okay, that's probably good. Yeah, that's good enough. It's cooked mostly all the way through. And let's give it a good little pour. Excellent. And toss. Let's get it. Here is your... I don't want a picture. No, God, I don't have any evidence of this. Uh, big trout. Enjoy. Uh, <laughs> realization time? What does that even mean? But hey, we did pretty good. I think that's not half bad. Uh, it didn't taste great. Uh, the flavors were perfect. Like, they loved the flavors of it. Uh, it just, you know, it didn't have any trout in it. <laughs> Trust me, it had some trout. You just might not have tasted it. Uh, maybe not big trout. Uh, we did cook it another way. But hey, we did great! Oh, shoot, that's five stars. I'm gonna take them. Uh, orders are finished. We're closing down for the night. Oh, let's, I'll make my own. Um, don't worry. We don't need orders in order for me to work. Oh, there's sour cream. I love that this fridge has been open this entire time. Um, well, let's remake that last dish because they wanted baked trout. I'm sure we can do a proper baked trout. Um, using the same method. Like, if we take some salmon. A little bit of salmon. They want baked, so let's put this on a baking sheet. And there we go. Great. Now remember, it doesn't like the long bits. We gotta get the fishy bits. Oh, that's right, you can't chop it on here. That's fine. We're just gonna leave it like that then. Bake them. Oh, this is still on. Oops. I guess we'll do it on this one then. Oh. Weird. You know what I'm going there? Why, is the little fishy bits that are sticking outside? These better on there. That should be good, right? Get in there. No, we don't want to go in there. Fine. Still a little fishtail? Oh yeah, you're right. Oh. Give me that. Perfect. You go in there now? Oh, such a bummer. Get out of here. What I want to do is I don't want to just keep cooking fish, but I think that's all we have in this mode. Loud! I'm gonna go to like the sandbox one. Which I'm assuming is there. We'll save it just in case. Sandbox mode. That's what I want. Can I do- No, I have to buy that. I'm curious about the modern layout. No, I don't want to do it. I'll we'll do the standard. Because this one will have everything, which is what I wanted before. I was like, we're missing the beef. Beef. Okay. Orders ready? Any preparation phase? Oh wait, does Sandbox have orders? Nah, that's fine. Alright, let's get going. Do we have two knives? We do. Okay. Uh, Charlock, is there anything you want to eat? What are you hungry for? Oh, <laughs> look at this fridge, yes! We got T-bone, pork shoulders. Ah, oh, I mean, don't mind, I'm gonna just take a T-bone for myself. I'm just gonna flop this. Uh, can I get a cutting board? There we go. Just gonna pop this on here, do a little bit of this action. What? Oh, my T-bone. Make some hot Cheetos? I'll make you some hot Cheetos. Actually, this kind of goes into what I wanted to make right now, so uh, we might make some hot Cheetos. Move vertically. I wish to rotate it. There we go. Just give it a little smack. Perfect. <laughs> That's the wrong one. There we go. Is that cooking? Oh, yeah, there we go. Do we have a spatula? 
that's the real way to cook. If you really want a very good dish, you cook it directly on the stove top. You don't use some metal middle part. Make sure to flip it. Don't worry, I will. I'm trying to figure out what I can flip it with. <laughs> I don't think I have a spatula. Are those like the little boxes here? Yeah, they're there. Let me get a spatula. Perfect. Almost there. Just use your hand. I don't think I can. I can think it'll... We'll see. Let me put this down. It's like saying it's red, which makes me think I can't pick it up. Yeah, no, I can't pick it up. Gotta use this. Perfect. Okay. And advance and rotate. Oh, uh, almost. That bad. Oh, it's all rotated around. Okay, wait. Face it this way. <laughs> Come here. Come here. <laughs> background okay just gotta get just gotta get good perfect that does not look appetizing at all oh my god uh how do i load, move it down i don't think i can oh yeah yeah <sighs> bummer i want to flip you <gasps> that's perfect wait can I pick you up now? No, you're too hot. Okay, now just... Yes! Ah, are you cooking? No, you're not. Give a little tap. Get on there. Get on there. Come on. No! I'm trying way too hard on this. Perfectly cooked. It's perfect, right? <laughs> Look at that. Little, little spicy on the edges. Just bake it. It is easier. All right, let's bake it. Come here. Actually, I have a better idea. We could boil it. Let's boil it. A nice little T-bone boiled. Oh, too hot still. Sorry. Forgot about that. Thank you, game. I could have burned my hand there if it wasn't for that. Okay. Give it a little choppy chop. Ah, look how easy that is to cut. Perfect. Just like real T-Bone. Yeah, make it a little small. Give it a little bit of... I like my T-Bone cubed. <laughs> Let's get a little, uh... Get some more cubes here. Perfect. Oh, look at those lines. God, you can't get more perfection. <laughs> also, how's it going, Barraconis TV? Uh, can you do... Seuss video or something? Or whatever it's called? Wait, what? A Seuss video? Is this like a cooking video? Uh, okay, let's get this in. Can I put it in here? Oh, look at that. Cut, cut. Oh, delicious. Can I put this back in? Oh, of course I can. Uh, give me that. Put that back over there. How small can I make it? Oh, it doesn't get any bigger. Okay. Actually, yeah, these are good. Okay, now let's put this on a baking tray. Souvé is how it's pronounced. A souvé video? What is a souvé video? Uh, baking tray. Looking for baking tray. Actually, no, nah, I don't even need to bake it now. Now I can just stick it in one of these things. Oh, whoops. Ooh, put you there. There is no video. What? <laughs> I'm so confused. Oh, let me get some music. Uh, oh, it's a way to cook steak where you vacuum seal it in a plastic bag and put the bag in boiling water. What? That's insane. Um, does it taste good? Oh, I lost all my little meat chunks. Oh, good thing they're cold now, so I can just stick them right in the pot. Yes, excellent. Put this down here. <laughs> my meat chunks have gone cold. Whoa. Sous, sous vide? Oh, sous vide? Am I, am I saying it wrong? Sous vide? I've never had... I don't eat steak. <laughs> There is all half of the meat chunks. I gotta get the other half. <gasps> I'm gonna ignore it. Get in here. Nope. These meat chunks don't like to behave, just like a real T-bone. Part of half the trouble is just trying to fight your own little meat chunks. Gimme. Give Gimme. Give Gimme. Give now, as you know, you would fucking burn this if you tried to uh, put that directly on the stove, so we need something to uh, cook it with. I say red wine. 
because you can never have too much red wine. Uh, that's where we go. <laughs> lemon oil? Yeah, let's just say lemon oil, too. I mean, that's what I love. Lemon oil and steak. It's, it sounds fantastic together. Uh, that's sunflower. Do we have lemon oil? Oh, we do. Lemon juice. Lemon oil. <laughs> I'm in a little bit of a mess. That's fine. A little bit of lemon in there. That's perfect. Uh, the constant temperature of the boiling water is supposed to make the most even way to cooking steak. Ah, okay. When you got the right temperature, then you sear it for a minute, and then you're done. That sounds actually not half bad. That sounds pretty dang good. Oh, this has been on this whole time. Alright. Cook all the little meat chunks. Now, what next? What next? Coconut milk? Milk? That wouldn't taste good with steak. Goat cheese. Burger meat. You wanted Cheetos there, right, Sherlock? We'll make some Cheetos. Play darts? Is there a dartboard? <laughs> Play darts with uh, the meat? What's that? Oh, Transformer. Oh, there is darts! You have a little, uh... I should probably take the interest of my meat cooking. Get a good little toss. Aww. Are there darts? Oh, I know what to play with. There we go. <laughs> There's a microwave. There is a microwave. Oh, what are we doing? Making it in this fan? That's too late. We'll make that for our next dish. Oh, that's overcooked. Okay. Get a little shaky shake. You all looking good? <laughs> We're just making a mess on the floor. Uh, these still look awfully pink. So yeah, let's microwave it. That might help cook it. God, that's such an awful... Oh, that sounds awful. Uh, let's get a large plate. We'll just microwave it in here. It's if you mess up. If you mess up on your dish, you could just... Uh... Oh, I need to strain this. Can I get like a colander? You still have some uncooked chunks left? Yeah, I have some uncooked chunks. I gotta, I gotta take care of the rest of that. I need... Colander. Perfect. Uh, let's get a... Do we have a big pot? We had one. No, I need another one. Make sure to add the middle forks to the microwaving. I don't think that does anything. I'll try it. Uh, big pot. It does in real life. Don't try that in real life. <laughs> another public service announcement. Can I just drop you on here? Oh yeah, there we go. Rump. Nope. Nope. Come here. Perfect. Uh, where's our meat chunks? There they are. It'd be funny. Yeah, it would be cool if it actually did react in some way. Uh, against controls. We're getting ready to pour. Oh god, meat chunks. No! Oh no! It's all gone wrong. <laughs> We can still pick up our meat chunks. They're like boiling hot. Slightly overcooked. Actually, these all look overcooked. Oh no, some of them do. Some of them weren't quite in the uh, the red wine, uh, <laughs> the lemon juice vat. Uh, not a proper simulation if it doesn't. What does that say? Plasmatize? Plasmatize. Is that the actual like technical term for that? That's good enough. All right. Uh, well, in that case, if we're gonna test our theory. Slap that on. Excellent. You made up a word? and a fitting word. Oh, that is a little good. Okay. Pick all these little guys up. I think this is looking good. Alright, let's play it. Oh. This is not the hot Cheetos you're looking for, but I think we, we still did a good thing here. Here's that pot. Okay, meat chunks. Excellent. And, of course, can't forget our bay leaves. Oop. I guess it's a bad simulation. Yeah, no problems with the colander. I guess it is a bad simulation. There you go. Oh, I can't serve it. That's a bummer. I wish I could. All right, out the window you go. Okay, great. Uh... <laughs> got available. Oh, a pumpkin! What? We're gonna cook this somehow. Bay leaves, uh, sunfly, pork wants, pork pork wants. <laughs> what? Oh, no. Oh, 
I enabled it, damn it. It was like, it, you won't be able to save if you turn this on. Carve the pumpkin? I'm exact. Oh, I don't know if I can carve it. I would like to. I was gonna chop it up. I was looking for my knife. I have another knife. Can I carve you? No, it's gonna be like a slice. Oh. That looks terrible. I wanted these slices, but I made those ones. Dartboard? Oh, it is in the dartboard! Okay, that's where I gotta keep a knife. Oh, look at that! Got a four, it's so close! <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, it shouldn't be that easy to cut a pumpkin, just a straight vertical slice. No problems at all. <laughs> now, how do you cook big chunks like this? I'm thinking the oven. That seems right. So, let's get these ready. One, two, three, four. I'm just gonna cook these. Oh, this should probably be on a baking tray. <laughs> Put those down. I had a baking tray. I don't know where it went. So we're gonna get another baking tray. Are they really juicy? I don't remember, um... I remember I would always, like, carve them, but then, like, my parents would always take care of the actual, like, gore of it. <laughs> like, getting rid of all the, the nonsense. I haven't had pumpkins in forever. Um... But I guess that makes sense. Real mess. Yeah, like all the like messy bits are still in the pumpkin. That totally wouldn't happen. Uh, that's good enough. Okay. Into the oven you go. Yep. How do I know when they're done? Can't look at them. I can't even see them. Come here. Oh no! They're stuck in there. Pumpkins! Alright, well I guess I'll just leave them in there for a little while and see what happens. Yep! <laughs> that happened. Uh, what else should we make? Let's make some potatoes. Let's make some french fries. Why do these lemons look so weird? They look like little potatoes. Oh, and oranges. Potatoes, potatoes, onions, onions. Ooh, we can make it like an onion soup. I gotta stop making soups. No more soups. Let's make... Let's take our onions. Spin around in circles. Let's take some onions. One, two... Oh, I see it. Like, cuts them at a time. We were wondering about that. Or I was wondering about that with the lemons. Just a couple of onions. Just a few onions. Okay. That's a good amount of onions. Uh, let's chop them up a little bit. Knife holder. Chop. Just in like halves. They're a little more manageable. Now we'll fully cut them. Even smaller. Good. Okay, here's our onion mess. Now we're gonna deep fry some onions. I need like a basket? Will that work? We can get it better. We need oil too. Uh, enriched cornmeal, vegetable oil. Oh, that's how you make hot Cheetos? I'm not gonna make those hot Cheetos. <laughs> I'm surprised they got all the ingredients. Well, they don't tell you how to cook them, unfortunately. Now, if you put all of those just in like a vat, you'll be able to actually make hot Cheetos. Yo. Get off that. Perfect. Okay. Put that down. Now, I need oil. Um, what kind of oil do you stick in one of these? Not avocado oil. Sunflower oil? Soy sauce. Soy barbecue sauce. No. Ketchup, right? No, wait. Oh, no! Whoops. Gasoline! <laughs> Not water. I guess sunflower oil. Olive oil? We'll try olive oil. Just a bunch of olive oil. Oh, there's a fill button. Wait, nope. 
I don't actually put oil in there. Olive oil will probably be bad. I didn't realize it had its own oil. I'm good. Would olive oil be bad? I don't know what kind of oil you put in a deep fryer. Oh, turn it off. Okay, great. Now we're deep frying our onions. That actually sounds kind of good. I know I was making a meme of like, this would taste terrible, but that might not be terrible. Maybe not like chunks like this, little small chunks. Okay, let those finish up. Uh, I'm gonna make, I kinda wanna make a burger. Pork, sausage. Although it has a low smoking point, so it'd probably burn. Ah, good to know. The olive oil we put in there looks like it already burned off anyway. <laughs> okay, onions are cooked. Look at those. Oh, why are they only partially cooked? Okay, we're going to have to sort which ones are cooked and which ones aren't. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Thought I was going to lose all of them. Oh, silly physics. <laughs> of course, I can't pick up the ones that are cooked. Oh. Too bad they don't have peanut oil like Five Guys. Does Five Guys use peanut oil for them? Really? You know, they, they don't have peanut oil? They might. Uh, maybe not. Check the ingredients. Liquids. JK. Oh, peanut oil. Oh, I just tossed the thing off to the side. Oh, there's so many good onions in there that I'd love to grab. Silly basket. There we go. Well, what do I do with this mess? This doesn't even look good. Oh, but these are cooked. Are they just not cooked enough? Oh, it's a basket. already done. Okay. Uh... What does that say? Fucking... Oh, I got it. Oh, my pumpkins. Never mind. Uh, okay. I gotta do something with these. Partially cooked onions. Okay, let's make a burger. I can already tell that's gonna be a miserable experience because I'm gonna have to flip the burger and it's gonna be awful. Oh, roll it. Put it down. We'll try our best. Burger. Bunger. <laughs> Just microwave the burger. Oh, God, that sounds awful. Can't forget your ketchup. And make sure you put the ketchup on early so that it has a chance to really soak in there. Is that metal? Or glass? Oh. Glass ketchup bottle. That would be awful, wouldn't it? Just microwave it. Oh. There's just some meats you can't microwave. Can you microwave any meat to like full cook it? Like pre-cooked stuff, I guess. Yeah, exactly. That was my issue with the ketchup bottles. You can't squeeze it. <laughs> you can. What kind of meat can you microwave? Or like we should microwave. Like I imagine a lot of meat you shouldn't because you can't like really cook the inside. I don't know. I'm not a cook if <laughs> you can tell. Uh. I know how to make, like, guacamole. <laughs> you can cook any raw meat, but I wouldn't advise it. Okay. It's, it just sounds awful. Um, I wish there was an easy way to flip. I guess there's not. Oh, see, this is where... Eh, that's gonna be a miserable thing. These are technically advanced controls, but... Oh, why would you keep flipping? No, no, no! Ah! No, wait. Put it on the thing. Come on. Get off there. Oh, I have to rotate it still. Come on. Yes! <laughs> We're gonna have such a perfect burger. I'm gonna get buns ready. Where do I buy buns? Or where do I get buns? Can I buy them? Red. Microwave an egg? I'll try microwave an egg. We'll see what happens with that. Are you done? Yeah, you are done. Oh, spatula. Okay, let's put you in the colander. Great. 
Uh, bread, 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 bread. Bread, bread, bread. I guess I have to buy it because I don't see it anywhere. It's not like I gotta make my own bread. I don't see it though. Oh, here we go. Yeah, okay, awesome. <laughs> Just put the, the white bread. What is this music? I'm sorry, do you want me to turn it off? I can actually play my own music. It's like, uh, I think it's non-copyright. It sounds like, um, one of them sounded kind of like Moonlight Sonata. It's a music game, though. Um, let me play my own music. Do we do Mario Party? Mario Party's already up. Alright, let's take this. No, I want that. Yes. Uh, let's get a plate ready. I haven't played the uh, new Among Us map, but I've heard it has really wacky burgers, so we're gonna make a wacky burger. <laughs> Mario Party. Actually, this is gonna- I just realized it's gonna get repetitive. Mario Party 6 OST. We'll do the whole OST because this is just one song that repeats. There we go. Uh, we need some, like, lettuce. Cucumber? Probably, why would the lettuce be here? <laughs> Radish, mozzarella, Brussels sprouts. Do we have lettuce? Maybe we don't have lettuce. We don't, okay. Bun, lettuce, onion, onion, bun. That's actually not too bad. Uh, we're going to do something similar to that. What is this music? Uh, we're gonna do... Please be a little more chill. Totally. This is the same one, isn't it? <laughs> there we go. Um, no, damn it, I don't like that either. Uh... Let's see... There's no burger patty, isn't there? I have two, right? Yeah, I got two burger patties. Um, let's do- oh, in Among Us. <laughs> Could do like a little lettuce wrap. Let's do... Uh... I forgot the name of this game. Starbound. Starbound, I'll see. Uh, less wraps rarely happen with the Among Us burger, but it can happen. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I didn't actually know how that minigame works, so you do have to follow what it says. You can't just make something randomly. Oh, red cabbage. Okay, that'll work. Um, <laughs> I have no clue how this is going to work, but I think I just have to chop it on a chopping board. Look at this lettuce. Woo! Okay. Get one of my knives. Where's my other knife? This. Yep, that's exactly how I thought that would go. Lettuce wrap probably would... This would be a bad lettuce to use on a burger, wouldn't it? Also, this is huge. What am I doing? Chop it again. <laughs> God, how would this properly be made? Use a cheese grater on the cabbage? Like this thing? This grater? Cheese grater? I don't even think I have a cheese grater. Let me see. Halloween candle. It has filled the place with Halloween candles everywhere. <laughs> uh. I don't know. I think there there may be one. Mm -mm. Just a food processor. Well, let's try it in the food processor. I have to like make it smaller. I think. But I don't think it will take it. Yeah, I won't take it this big. Then again, this is already, like, processing it anyway. Are you supposed to grate cheese in the game? You gotta stick it in the food processor, apparently. Oh, my food thing's gone. A little processor thing. <laughs> From our previous failed experiments. Ooh, that's loud. There we go. Stick a couple of these guys in here. 
These are like chunks for your burger. This would be so bad to eat. Ugh. How are you supposed to have a burger with lettuce? Yeah, look at this. What is this garbage? We're not using it. <laughs> good enough. The Attack on Titan Season 4 OST recently released. Is it good? I uh, would not know any about Season 4. Hopefully it's a good soundtrack. Oh, that's right. We still have these guys. Okay, let's get a plate ready. Oh yeah, our plate is ready. Alright, here's your uh, roasted onions on a plate. Oh, shit. But I want something else other than just this burger. I want, like, cheese. Uh... Oh, why do they have to make it so difficult? I just want it right there. Oh! Oh! No! <laughs> Uh, it's great, composed mainly by someone different from the first three seasons. That's good to hear, it's great. It must be, like, super difficult for them to compose and, like, learn all about the style and stuff like that. And one to, like, be consistent, you know? Like, that must be a difficult task. But here, it's good, though. Oh, can I do this? No, of course I can't. Yeah, this gets off. Oh, maybe if I, uh, take this... Nope. <laughs> My hamburger meat. No. Come here. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, that's how we gotta do it. Put that down. Pick this up. Oh, I moved. That up. Pick that up. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Put that down. Now, I want cheese. Give me this giant thing of goat cheese. I want to chop it up. Over here. I just want one little slice. Yes. Delicious slice of goat cheese. Slather that on top. Pick up the burger. Pick up the goat cheese. Nope, that's not how I want it. Like, rotate it when it's over here. Oh yeah, good to hear it's good. Uh, life is never easy. Is that when the burger fell? <laughs> Life is never easy. No, stop going down like that. Damn it, do I have to... That's right, because I cut it like this, didn't I? Okay. So I need to cut it lengthwise for this to work. Which means it needs to be... Like this. Good. And then take this piece. I got it. Alright, get off here. Yeah, here. This piece, but I gotta rotate it. And then just drop it. Oh, that's how I drop stuff on. Oh, I've been silly this whole time. When the play fell? Oh, yeah, when the play fell. <laughs> Give it a little chop. That's our piece of goat cheese right there. That if I put down on the ground, it won't rotate properly, but I could just do this anyway. Rotate. Drop. Oh, perfect. I'm gonna move it slightly more. Actually, let's face it this way. Nope. Perfect. Okay. And I think that's it for a burger. We're just gonna do that and put the bun on top. I like when the meat cheese melts on there. still hot. This must be freezing cold by now. <sighs> okay, that's good. And then now the last thing we need to do is slather this in red wine. A little bit of red wine. Bon appetit! Delicious burger. <laughs> okay, 
right, what else we got? What else we got? That was not fun to cook. I do not like cooking burgers. <laughs> I like them in real life. They're not too hard to cook in real life, but God, is that not fun to cook. Um, we should clean up our area a little bit. Just get the stuff out of the way. Put it back in the trash corner. This is officially the trash corner over there. In that general area. Oh, we gotta clean up the plate too. What am I thinking? Can I use this with the cutting board? Probably make it a lot faster. Or the basket. There's our failed pumpkin experiments. Our failed T-bone. Oh, we didn't even put the onions on it. Whoops. Put this over here. Is this the soundtrack? Or what is this guy? Oh, it is. I'll listen to that later. Uh, throw these out. Does this actually break? Oh, it does. Okay, good. Your favorite track's the new season? I'll check that out. I'm curious to see what it sounds like. This is beer! Oh, don't mind if I do. Give me a big pot. Big pot of beer. I need a big pot. Can you just fill like this? Oh. Collect all that beer up. That's probably a good amount. 600 milliliters. And I can't turn that off. Does that ever stop? I'll just let that run. Okay. So we got our beer. Put that on the burner. Oh god, this has been burning that whole time. Stop that. And we're going to boil. What kind of meat should you boil? Let's boil. Beef chunk. Beef chunk sounds good. That is not enough beer. We need more beer. Pumpkin's still cooking? It's still down there. Let's cook it longer. Sorry, I need a little bit of this. <laughs> I just want to fill up- oh, there's a sound effect. I just want to fill it up till the meat's covered. This will all cook off anyway, it's not like they're gonna taste it. And that's good. Lesson learned why you don't just let your beer pour <laughs> aimlessly. <laughs> uh, we're an awful cook. I um, do have access to like sort of like a commercial kitchen and I never use it. I never use it. I can make just guacamole. It is the only cooking thing that I know how to do. And most of that's pre-prepped anyway. Um, anything else? Nope. I'm not good at cooking, and I feel like I should learn at some point. Like, having access to a kitchen is probably... it's nice. Um, and I should actually use it properly, but I don't. Unfortunately. Right, we're gonna let that meat cook in the beer. And what should we do with that after it cooks? So, do either you chop it up, or you serve it as is. Now, it would probably be awful served as is, so we will make meat chunks. We gotta think about what we want to do with said meat chunks. We could make just a better burger, like even a better version of what we already made. But I don't like that. How about we make... Oh, I have an idea. Okay, we're gonna take this. I need, like, several burger bottoms. Let's make, like, eight of these. Oh, there we go. A burger stack, almost. What are we doing over here? Yeah, you're still cooking. Okay. Gonna be delicate with this. Got one there. There. And we can't do this with the regular bun burger stuff. Pre cut slices because it is too small. But we're gonna make the ultimate burger. Perfect. Okay. A bun sandwich. Pretty much precisely. Is this is this is considered soup in here? Yeah, the soup's burning. It's beer soup. Okay. All right, meat chunk's gonna go on that. I do want, I do want, I do want some fries with this though, and I think fries should be part of it. So we are gonna make some French fries. I just need another one of these things. 
Since I can find my old one. Where'd my old one go? Is it over here? <laughs> my mess. Oh, it is! Great! Okay. Get that out. Uh, get that stuff out of here. Great. Now let's put this down. Need another cooking rack. There it is. Get that out of here. Okay. We're gonna get potatoes in a sec. How you cooking? Still working on it? Good. Oh, I need cutting more of this. Several potatoes. I'm gonna definitely need more than like a couple because I'm probably gonna fuck up a lot. That's probably a good amount, yeah. Gently walk them over without shaking too much. Good. And a chop chop. Oh, I wish I could put these in the processor. Because these are probably going to be really badly cut. Maybe it's the way I'm cutting them that this, the game hates it. Okay. And... <laughs> we'll do steak fries, so yeah, we'll keep them like that. Just cut them one way. our meat doing. Don't want to overcook that. It's almost there. Pretty much there. Let's just get our colander ready. Or our, whatever this thing is. I'm just going to pick them up manually, otherwise I'm going to screw this up. Whoa. Can I just... Oh yeah, we'll just do this. Oh yay, delicious. Is it a tray? Fry your basket? Basket. That's probably a good way to put it. Alright, you are done. We're just gonna put you on that and let you sim simmer. Sit there. Is that too hot? That's too hot for it. Okay. Let's take it out. Can we use tongs? Tongs the thing? Ah, there is tongs. Okay. We're gonna tongs this out. Uh... <laughs> the pumpkin slices are black. Uh, let's put you on the cutting tray for now. Even though we're not going to cut you. Actually, can we just put you on? Yeah, we can just put you on now. <laughs> Meatloaf? Shoot! The plate's still fine, it didn't break. Uh... This needs to be perfect. Oh, good enough. Nope, not good enough. Perfect. Okay, good. Uh, tongs pick up. <gasps> it's okay, it's okay. Tongs release. It's slightly meatloafy. Not quite meatloaf, not quite delicious. Okay, get in there. Fill. Cook that for a bit. We're gonna overcook those because last time we cooked it, it didn't quite work. Throw the wine out the window. Get out there. Uh, meatloaf. Just need to fit this up better. I wanna surround this with the buns, so it actually looks like it's part of it. Yeah, that's better. Perfect, okay. Now I imagine the way you would use this, the way you would feed it to people, is you would bring it to a party with like all the, the little burger slices on the bottom and the meatloaf in the middle, and I'm gonna just throw a bunch of the tops on. Um, and you would just serve it like that, and you would see how people react to it. Like, would they think they have to slice it up? Would they, one person just go to ham on the meatloaf and everyone else just kind of watches them? Uh, how would this go over? It's the ultimate burger. It's only meant for one, though, um, despite how it... Oh, I thought those were black. I, mean, I guess they are kind of black, but Jesus. Some of these cooked, some of these just didn't cook. Like, this one's just not even cooked. You were in the oil, why didn't you cook? 
And this one's cooked, but it doesn't change color. Okay, well these are... These are good. Okay, pour this on top. No, pour this on the side. Side of fries. <laughs> oh, too many fries. That's fine. Okay, and now we gotta get the tops. I wanna do these manually though. Maybe just one. Just one little top. Almost. Just a little bit further. I can see what I'm doing. Come closer. Yes! Actually, no, I should cover it in tops. If I place them well enough, it almost looks like a burger. Almost. Let it flip though. Has to face upwards. If we're gonna get that five star rating, we have to face them the right way. It's vital. It's the only way you end up on like a culinary magazine. This is looking pretty good. I actually like this. Not good to eat, just good for the abomination we were creating. Is that a plane? What is that? Look at that! <laughs> okay, let's get some time. Parsley, even better. And... Bon Appetit. Let's clean this up a little bit. Do I have like a spatula? Oh, tongs! Get these little stragglers out of there. In fact, let's just get the raw potato look. Perfect! Plate it. Alright, it's plated already. Let's get a photo. Oh god. <laughs> Come to our restaurant. We have mountains of burgers. Kind of. Can I, uh, move the camera? I can zoom it. Oh, yes! Look at that! Look at that delicious meatloaf! Oh, what a beautiful, beautiful burger. Sesame galore! Do you want to get so many sesame seeds stuck in your mouth that it feels like you're just eating strawberry? Come to burgers galore. Do you want to feel like you're just eating a raw animal? Burgers galore. <laughs> what are all these effects? Filter intensity? Oh, I could filter it. Oh, no camera filters for us. Alright, that's been wonderful. Oh my god! Uh, it made such a terrible sound because there's so much garbage in it. Oh, here's bread! What? I could have stuck this as bread. I gotta use this as the, uh, the topper. That's too late now. Anything else we want to do? Um... Can I just fill each one of these with, like, a steak? Oh. Oh, I have an idea. I looked away, what? Oh, I just- I tossed it over here. I just was throwing it away, and it like made such a cacophony of noise all at once that it just sounded like a really loud uh, beeping, almost. Or like a bat sound. Um, it was pretty good. Uh, I feel slightly bad that I did not actually make any real meals, and that I just kinda had garbage this entire time, but that's somewhat the point of the game, right? To not actually cook anything realistically. It's to start off normally and like cook like maybe a tomato soup um, to see how it comes out and then just to sort of have fun after the fact. I think that's part of this game. So uh, that's why we're filling steak on the stove. I wish, you know what I need to do? I need to just take the cutting board. Yeah, and just fill this with steak. Steak. How many steaks can we stack? Oh, quite a bit. Nope, oh, and then it doesn't like it anymore. Uh, actually, you know what? I have an idea. 
Is there anything in here? No, but no. Give me a bunch of steaks. Hopefully it doesn't freak out. Don't freak out. Don't freak out. Good, good, good. A little laggy when I do that, but it's fine. Now we're gonna stick it in the right one because the left one is fucked. Yeah, let's get a bunch of steaks in there. Steaks galore. We're gonna make a meat soup. Actually, not even steaks. Let's also get like burger meat in there and like, yeah, some chicken legs. Oh, I bet the game's gonna love this. Whoa. Let's dump all that in there. It's like a sacrifice in here. Well, can't let all these little good tasty bits get out. Continuing. <laughs> there's just a <laughs> there's just a path of meat. Okay, keep going. Get some uh, duck breasts. Sure, why not? Uh, some sausage. Yes. Oh, those are really long sausages. Okay, maybe no sausage. Two pork shoulders. One pork shoulder. One pork shoulder. Get that in there. Good. Okay. What else do we want? Yeah, let's get some beef chunks. We just made the most delicious beef chunk possible. The best beef chunk burger. So now, we're gonna one-up our game by making the beef chunk soup. A trail of entrails? Quite literally, yes. Look at that. Slowly starting to make it. Uh, chicken breast? Why not? I need, like, a bigger container. What can hold more things than a big pot? Oh, I don't think I can use, like, the cutting board. Although I'd like to use it. I wish I had, like, a bucket. <gasps> Get in there. Can I fit meat in here? <laughs> yes! Bucket of meat! Let's go. This is how you get served this meat mess, too. You get a big bucket of it. Just give me one of everything. Yes, oh, yes. <laughs> Yummy. Ah, oh, I, I need more. Bacon? Why not? Bucket boyos. Yeah, this is the KFC bucket. We're gonna make a KFC meal here. Alright. Go on, meet. Meet your brethren. Great. Get one, two more beef chunks. Get some, get some T-bone in there since we're feel, oh, since we're feeling fancy. Can I turn this off? No, I can't. Uh, some salmon. Why not? Get a little bit of the taste of the sea in there while we're at it. Some, some trout. Uh, and a little bit more bacon. Everyone loves bacon. Scallop, one. Perfect. Okay. We're doing good. We're doing real good. Get this fish paste in there. Oh, delicious. Mmm, let's get a whole lemon in there while we're at it. Just toss that bad boy in there. Can I make it from here? Whoop! Nope. Almost, though. That was pretty close. Hey, there we go. Whole lemon in there. Oh yeah, a few kilos of salt. Of course. How could I forget? In fact, no, I don't want soy sauce. I want salt. You're right. This is salt. What? There's so many spices here. God, I didn't even know there was this many. Lemon pepper, horseradish, garlic, dried. Okay, we're gonna take. Where's my bucket? We're gonna take a couple spices over here. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna ruin this. Uh. This deep fryer. Okay, that's a lemon. Or, no, that's... What was that? Garlic. I want some salt. Of course, we're gonna need a lot of salt. Uh, white pepper. Why not? That's better than uh, black pepper. Is there sugar? That's a good question. There's allspice. Allspice. I mean, that encompasses all the spices. That's just the regular. Oh, yeah, there's sugar. Okay. Uh, some cumin? No. How about... No, I don't want mint. Oh, I, I got it. Mustard. Perfect. Okay. Can't have a lot of meat without some mustard. Uh, I was about to just pour this in. Let's not do that. Actually, let's put this on the ground. There we go. Okay. Uh, we're gonna fill it up so we can get some of the, uh, the liquid in there. Perfect. Oh, yeah. All-encompassing. Great. Okay. Let's get some pepper. Ready? Change to five. Change to ten. There we go. Ten milligrams. 
<laughs> the snake's getting a lot of this. Okay, that's pretty good. All right. Uh, let's get the... Uh, we're doing the mustard last. All spice. Pepper racism? Oh, I didn't mean to say it like that. God. Uh, did I get regular pepper? I guess I didn't. I'm sorry. It's in the all spice. That's all the other spices. This is garlic. Lots and lots of garlic. I love me some garlic. This just looks terrifying. What is this vat? Oh. Salt. Oh wait, change this to 10 milligrams. It's just making me uh, thirsty while I'm doing it. Are we out? We're out. Okay, that's all of the salt we got. A little bit of sugar. Okay. And I said I was going to do the mustard last, but let's start with just a little bit. Yeah, there we go. A little bit for the seasoning. Okay. Uh, cook it up. Oh, we do have a grill. Look at that. What is on here? Potato. Oh, let's stick some cheese in there while we're at it. Oh, that's cooking fast. Wow. Okay. I guess, yeah, these meats are going to cook all at different rates. Okay, we're going to let that run for a little bit. Come on, get colder. Use the ketchup to cool it down. Grilled potatoes, yum. Doesn't that sound good? Yummy, yummy. Oh god, that's all gonna cook at like the same time. Okay, just chill a little bit. Oh, that's the song. I was like, where is that music coming from? Yeah, I'm not gonna overcook it. I'm just gonna let it simmer a little bit. Can't let our, uh, meat vat. Oh no, they're all cooking at different rates. Like, this beef chunk isn't even close to done. There's like a trout in there I saw, and then this other stuff's like, done. Overcooking it would ruin the taste. Yeah, I don't want to do that. See, I want to just make sure it's all like, well, it's all going to be evenly cooked, so maybe it's going to be okay at the end. I should do a little bit of cleanup. Just get all this stuff in there. Overcooking it would ruin the taste. <laughs> I see what you're trying to do there. We're doing okay. The T-bone's gonna be a little, little spicy spice, but I think that's okay. Oh, this is still cooking, isn't it? Those pumpkins never cooked. Oh, I never cooked these. Let's turn all these on. Let's cook the beer. Oh, that's right. We have beer. You can't forget about this. I mean, come on. There we go. One milliliter on all those, at least. Okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. Oh, I forgot to put cheese in there. Ooh. Uh, you want to savor the mustard. It's, it's important, it's important. Uh, okay, I think we're getting to burning territory, so we're going to turn that off again. And let's also empty it. Oh, can we see that again? Let's just get an instant replay on that. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> Oh, good lord. <laughs> make these all nice and yellow so you can't see all the brown spots. Or the black spots. Yum, yum. <laughs> God. Yeah, some of it's pink too. Uh, let's get that out of there. I don't want any pink things in here. Don't forget to dice it up. I don't even think... Can I use a knife down here? I don't think it will let me. <gasps> oh boy! Yeah! <laughs> there we go! <laughs> Dice it up! Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> don't forget to get the other direction while we're at it. The game hates this, I can tell. What does this thing do, anyway? Nothing good. Nothing I want to accidentally do and ruin all this with. Okay, while that's cooking. 
Can I just set up beer to sit there? Oh, those sound done. Can I like put you here? Oh, oh don't don't go in there. Nope, nope. Yeah, there we go. And oh, you're empty. Oh, okay. Well, I had my best friend the barrel of light beer to mix this together with. Just put that there. Yeah, there we go. Mm -mm -mm. Don't forget, gotta have your beer. Those products. Wait, get off my screen. Get off my screen. It's gonna be stuck there now forever. <laughs> I think these are done. I think the check, like, so if something sounds done, like it's sizzling like this, it's probably all finished. I think what you should do is just cover it in some kind of oil. Make it look rancid. And then it won't be as hot anymore and it won't cook anymore. This bug still exists? I think it chilled. It looks like it's chilling now. Oh no, it's still showing the other ones. See now, now it's not as hot because I covered it in liquid. And because of that, it won't cook as nearly as heavily as it was before. And I think I can cook it a lot longer. So those will, those will be fine later. Uh, maybe it'll stop when I stop this. Nope, it's just stuck there. Oh, are you all burnt? Oops. You can keep going. Okay. Stick this in there. Nope. Get in there. Nope. You get in there. Ah. We should clean this stuff up. Look at all this mess down here. Pull that back up. I mean, I guess cabbage would taste good with like a meat mess, wouldn't it? I mean, it kind of looks like skin. I think you need to sleep? I don't need to sleep. I'm fine. I'm golden. Ooh, we can put buns in there. It's like pre-getting the buns ready. Yeah. Look at that! These aren't even overcooked! Oh, that worked out so well. In fact, we should get like a second layer ready. Soy sauce sounds good. Uh, getting ready to pour. There we go. Now they almost look cooked. In fact, I bet we could just plate these and call it good. Like, look how delicious those look. This sounds like horror music. <laughs> it's very fitting, then. Get that. Oh, don't want to spill my beer. Are you out? You might just be out. Yeah, it's out of here. Okay. I think our meat pot is ready. I don't even know what I'm going to do with it. In fact, you remember how, like, the previous guy left this kitchen in this state? Like, they left it in a really bad state where everything was all fucked up? I think... This would be a good state to leave it in. Can I take this with me? Oh, yeah, here we go. Just so, uh, just so they feel... Uncomfortable. Just take a nice little photo of that meat. It was ready five years ago. <laughs> it's been ready for a while. Uh, I'd like them just to see this. Like, um... That's pretty good. I like that. Uh, can we blur other stuff out? The distance? No. Not easily. A frame? I don't know what a frame would be. Oh, there's a logo? Oh wait, hi do I. Yes. What the fuck was that sound? Oh, it was the cooking. Okay. Come in. Share it on Twitter. Oh, it's good. That guess. Woo. You took a photo of the camera? Yeah, what's up with that? Jeez, you'd think they'd hide that. Oh, how are you doing? You're still looking alright. Chop, 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 chop. 
and this is sitting here for like a week and they hire someone new they're like yeah i mean the the other guy like he said he couldn't work anymore and he couldn't like work the hours but he said the place is clean so like feel free to check it out now here's the question if you do that you leave this mess for someone else which would probably be like a war crime of some sort do you fill the vat of meat with liquid or do you leave it empty so it rots I would say leave the liquid in there. It would probably still like be disgusting, but at least it would be suspended in liquid. The oxygen can't get to it, so it won't mold as badly. It won't smell awful. Now this would probably be a problem. Oh, there's another grill here. Oh. Wait a minute, can I just throw these at the food? Ooh. Well, I do like me some honey. Now it's just not edible. That's a bummer. It was edible before. They could have had it. They could have, like, had a delicious meat stew. But I accidentally put glass in there. And now the whole thing is ruined. Massy odor with cheese? That's such a good idea. I didn't even think... Why didn't I think about that? That's such a fantastic idea. Where's the, uh... Where's my bucket? There's my bucket. Need to mask the odor with cheese. Just, um, I mean, most of the odor is going to come from here anyway, so you might as well just kind of get that all over. Yeah, that's good. That's, that's pretty good. Okay. Uh, once we have that, we need to think about the, the smell that's over by the grill. So let's get some, uh, some, yeah, gorgonzola. Sure, why not? Some cheddar. Get lots and lots of cheddar. Um, pile that cheddar up. And, uh, I guess I can kind of just cook with this stuff. Like, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, there's a lot wrong with that, but... Uh, yeah. That's that's pretty fine. Alright. Um... Is there anything else that smells terrible after it's been sitting here for a while? I guess all of this is probably gonna rot, so... That's already part of it. Uh... Coconut milk probably doesn't smell that good after a while, right? So we can just kind of throw this everywhere. Yeah. Oh, there's not a lot in there, though. Hmm, what can we get a lot of? Oh, I have an idea. Let's get a lot of... Is this beer? Oh, it is beer. Hmm. Can I paint the walls? Like, like shoot this at the wall? Oh, I can! Beer B, no worries. No worries. some ketchup. Does this break like ketchup? No, I mean, does it break like a bottle? No, it does not. <laughs> oh, there we go. Barrel dark beer. Okay, that's what I want. Now, turn it on and just kind of carry it with us. Still pouring? Yeah, there we go. Or it's nice and everywhere. this area. There we go. Okay. I think we've left this kitchen in a unbelievable state of disrepair. And now we can probably fuck with this a little bit. Oh, that's only on one item. Shockwave? Sadly, nothing. Ooh. Oh. No. Oh, this makes stuff bigger. Yeah, just fill this out. A little bit. A little bit. Do I still have that bottom? Oh no, I don't. Good. Okay. 
Uh, well, if Wasabi is watching, he can see this. I don't want this beef junk here. Can I move this? Just gonna... Move vertically. Get that air. Yes, there we go. You need to fix our grill now? Pfft, no, I don't. Oh, the grill's broken. Oh, yeah, I guess it is. That's probably fine. So I get a good toss here. Yeah, that's alright. Oh, whoops. No. Ah. There's our last one. And toss it in there. Delicious. So I think that's it for Cooking Simulator tonight. Um, I'm gonna call it here. Uh, we had a good, like, good hour and a half or so. Um, obviously it's not a game that I don't think I could take very seriously. Like, you could probably try to do it, but oh my god, it'd probably be really frustrating after a while. It's gonna mess around in. Um, same thing with the pizza one and the dessert one. I might check out the pizza one. That one I was kind of curious about. Um, but yeah. That's love. That's it for cooking the other night. Uh, let me... Escape out of this. I am also excited they have like a little cooking simulator shelter coming out. But let me get out of this. Okay, I'm back. I'm actually about to just take off now. Um, we had that, uh, the final little bit of the meat pit. Filled it with uh, beer, and I think that's it for now. <laughs> um, I'm going to switch scenes here. I'm going to find some music to play. And now i got to figure out what I'm going to play tomorrow. I'm going to figure that out later. I'm glad we did Nintendogs. Uh, just had to go throw up the abomination that God allowed you to make exist. <laughs> uh, I wonder what it would taste like. You know? Like, there's so much of it there, and like... Do you get an amalgamation of everything? Does it taste like one significantly strong thing? Do you think it tastes like beer? Because we put like liters and liters of beer in there. I don't wonder. I wonder. I wonder about these things. I'm going to be in, like asleep tonight wondering about that. <laughs> let me find, let me grab music. I gotta get a bottling. You don't lie awake wondering what that's gonna, that's gonna taste like. I envy you. <laughs> Uh, oh, I had a good track I wanted to play. Where is that? Oh, right, here it is. Here we go. <laughs> Anyways, let me double check this online. I believe it's just Wasabi on my list. But we'll see. Oh wow, Wasabi's got 50 viewers, god damn. Let's go throw him a raid here. Wasabi. Oh. Wasabi Tonic. He's doing a little bit of golf if you're interested in golf. I don't see why you wouldn't. Golf's very fun. It's funner to play it on, like, a console than it is to play in real life, in my opinion. But hey, that's just me. I don't like golf that much. <laughs> but it's fun to watch people play it. Anyways, take care, everybody. Thanks for hanging around, Sherlock, and everyone else that was able to stop by tonight. Hope you all have a fantastic night. And if you're around tomorrow, I'm going to be streaming some corruptions. We'll see. But yeah, take care, take care.